I've been an avid water cooler for quite a while, something like 10 years or so. So when a claim comes out saying that a 280 millimeter radiator can dissipate 500 watts, well, I want to know how. I've seen thick radiators that can't dissipate half that amount. So what does Intermax have in terms of their special sauce? Hey, what's up OCNers? Blue Devil here. AAOs are pretty much the golden standard when it comes to high-end CPU coolers. Those who would want more will go for more exotic cooling or go custom water. And I just happen to have a Swiftec H240X2 Prestige, which is part custom water, part AIO. So my question is, can the Intermax Lictec 2 280mm beat the Swiftec H240X2 Prestige? Now the Intermax Lictec 2 series is being marketed as high efficiency performance, namely claiming to be able to support 500 watts plus TDP. Having a patented shunt channel technology which boosts thermal conductivity and increases heat exchange rate by 30%. The integrated EF1 pump which boasts it's seven times more powerful than other traditional AIO pumps. Taking both the EF1 and the shunt channel technology might be Enermax's secret and able to cool such a high TDP. Now, what would be an AIO today without ARGB? Well, surprisingly enough, there's only one element of ARGB on the EF1 pump block. It's subtle yet tasteful at the same time. Controlling it is easy from your five volt three pin header on your motherboard or by using the included wired controller, which enables you to control up to 10 preferred lighting effects with colors, brightness, and speed. Personally, the included controller is great for people that haven't yet upgraded to a motherboard that has five volt three pin headers. The new 140 millimeter fans might also add to the secret sauce that Enermax has been brewing up as well. The innovative high pressure fan blades are more of a swept blade design rather than traditional fan blades, rated to provide 32 to 81 CFM of static pressure through the aluminum 280 millimeter radiator. Speaking of radiator, the FPI or fins per inch also might be another ingredient on why the 500 watt TDP is present. Having a high FPI increases surface area, allowing for more cooling headroom, which the Lictec 2 280 millimeter has a very tight fin stack. Okay, enough talky talky. Let's look at some numbers. My bench system is an Intel 8700K overclocked to five gigahertz on an ASUS Z370 Maximus X code motherboard. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3000 Delta RAM from Team Group and a Zotac GTX 1080 Ti Amp Extreme. Also being an AIO test, this test was performed on an open air test bench, the Streetcom BC1. Installation was pretty standard, so if you installed an AIO liquid cooler before, the Lictec 2 280mm is no different. In the temperature test, Swiftec idled at 25C, while the Enermax idled at 32C. I suspect this has something to do with the alumina radiator. Load for the Swiftec and Enermax was at a solid 66 degrees. For the sound test, the Swiftec H240X2 idled at 49 dB and the Enermax idled at 50 dB. So not too much difference, a little louder due to the, the tighter fin stack. Swiftec loaded at 64 dB. Enermax, surprisingly enough, loaded at 61 dB. In the world of AIO coolers, the Lictec 2 280mm AIO offers some of the best cooling available. Just looking at my test results, I would say that if anyone wants near custom water cooling with pretty much the same noise and temps, well, the Lictec 2 280 might be your next AIO. At $150, the Lictec 2 280 is starting to skirt the pricing of some custom kits that offer much more expandability. Even at sub 150, the Corsair H115i is quite popular and should offer comparable performance. Pricing aside, the Lictec 2 280 AIO is really nice. The finishes like the heat sinks on the side of the radiator, the rubber dampeners on both sides of the fan mounts, everything just feels polished. This brings me back to my original question. Can and does the Lictec 2 280 dissipate 500 watts? I wouldn't think a 280 millimeter radiator can. The downsides are pricing with a dash of an overzealous dissipation claim. With that, four out of five flames. Okay guys, it's been real, it's been fun, it's been real fun. If you haven't liked and subscribed by now, you know what to do. Blue Devil, out.